Ministry and we have I and Patrick have a, a rescue center. We have we rescue girls from FGM and early marriage, and uh, we look for sponsors to take them to school. And we make sure that they study and uh, come out as people who can help the society. And uh, we have a, a girls band where they do some music uh, during their vacation. The, the, and we have also some who do some tailoring. We have some who have learned computer uh, yeah so we have also the farm uh, where we can get food for them and some of them also learned uh, some agriculture in our farm so we have uh, some cows um, rabbits turkey um, and so on and so today we came and yeah. had Christine train your girls in Days for Girls, in the Days for Girls Feminine Hygiene Kits program. And so what does that, how does that impact the girls? What difference does that make for the girls? <laughs> Yeah, we have uh, we have learned a lot from Christine and the group. Uh, they have learned how to take care of themselves, how to uh, wash and be clean. They have also learned how to make uh, or to have the washable sanitary towels, which saves their money. Or people in the village can use, and they don't have to buy every day. So the girls are saying they are going to learn how to make them and take uh, the sanitary to the village and help those ones who cannot buy sanitary every day. So they'll learn it and then go and help their families yeah, and, have, and, uh, yeah, and friends in their village. A lot from the sanitary. And they can also make some money. They can buy a dress, Christmas dress when they sell the kit. Yeah. Awesome. So we talked a lot about different ways that, um, that you can be supported. Uh, we talked about having a computer center so that they can do some online, the girls can do online courses. Uh, we talked about the sewing training and working with Christine on, on that training. Also, um, we talked about instruments yeah. that it would be awesome for you guys to have instruments to keep yeah. building out this girls band mm -hmm. and that it's the only girls band in Kenya yeah we have a girls band um, the, we don't have enough instruments but we are hoping we are going to have more and more girls train the band and uh, through the band they can also communicate to say no to FGM no to early marriage and other things and uh, we are we are also uh, we want also the girls to learn how to do the <laughs> tailoring and they can make the sanitary the dresses and so on and also the computer can help uh, them communicate they can learn technology because technology is also something that's coming up most of the people want to know how to use the computers and we love to have some and they can learn how to communicate using the computer emails and so on. Yeah. So if people want to sponsor the girls in school, um, when they come to you, then they would be able to also email back and forth with the girls and have a connection to them um, so that they can follow up with them and they can mentor them as well. And we also talked about doing a mentoring program um, coming in and teaching different programs and things like that. So, yeah. yeah. I'm sure when we have a computer, when they, uh, some of them can learn through online mentorship and they can also help to shake the mentorship down and uh, mm -hmm. teach other girls. Teach the girls yeah. in their village when yeah, they... Their yeah. Back. That would be great. Yeah. So, well, thank you. Thanks for taking a few minutes to You're talk welcome. to me. Thank you so much.